Hi, I'm Dr. Mangla. I'm the clinical director at Smile Baby IVF at KC Raju Hospital, Bangalore. So the fallopian tubes are the place where the egg meets the sperm and results in fertilization and thereby results further in a pregnancy. However, if these tubes are blocked, the egg cannot meet the sperm and thereby there is no pregnancy at all. So what can cause the tubes to get blocked? So one of the most common causes is pelvic inflammatory disease or an infection of the pelvis. So this may be due to certain organisms such as chlamydia, gonorrhea or even tuberculosis. Even HIV may sometimes result in blocked fallopian tubes. So these infections are curable and can be treated and thereby can result in opening of the tubes. Apart from that, one of the other common causes is endometriosis. So endometriosis in an infertile patient is very very common. And this endometriosis is due to reversal of the menstrual blood into the pelvis. So this can again lead to dense adhesions and thereby cause kinking of the tubes or blockage of the tubes. Now one of the other very important causes that I've seen is a previous abortion. So any person who has undergone a previous abortion, whether spontaneous or induced, may have faced the, this problem of blocked fallopian tubes. Now this may be because an abortion may usually result in an infection or certain ad intratubal adhesions which can cause blockage of the tubes. Now apart from that, probably even a previous surgery, either abdominal or pelvic surgery, such as for a ruptured appendix or a fibroid uterus, can also lead to this blockage. Now one of the most rare causes perhaps you could think of is a congenital cause. That is something that is present from birth. The tubes may be defective from birth and thereby they may result in a blockage. So apart from that there is something called as functional tubal blockage. So this is a condition where the tubes are not actually blocked but they may appear blocked when you do certain tests. But once you do a laparoscopy to cure the tube of this disease it is seen that there is no disease at all and it is just a spasm of the tube which can be relieved with drugs. So now this is a treatable cause of blocked fallopian tubes. Whatever said and done, it's always important to make sure that the tubes are open and thereby it can result in a healthy pregnancy. Thank you.